It was the year 2000. I was 40 years old. And for two years, I had been thinking about starting another type of pharmaceutical company, one that would target diseases that no one was researching. I was in this taxi cab, and I love to talk to taxi cab drivers. And he asked me what I did. And I said, I'm a pharmaceutical scientist, and I'm here for a pharmaceutical meeting. And he roared in laughter and laughed very deeply and then said something that was extremely painful. And it really was a turning point for me. And it was, you all have all the money. When he said that, I achieved a moment of clarity. Why in our world, in the 21st century, were there people who had medicines for any, any disease, any complaint, and in other parts of the world, 5,000, 10,000 miles away, babies die of dehydrating diarrhea. How can that be? That is not fair. If there's anything I could do personally, then I had to do it. My name is Victoria Hale. In the year 2000, I founded the Institute for One World Health. One World Health is a not-for-profit pharmaceutical company. We develop medicines for orphan diseases and diseases that no other company in the world is developing medicines for. Bihar state is one of the poorest states in India and a disease which existed in Bihar now for hundreds of years is surging forward in another epidemic. Its name is Kala Azar or black fever. People in this state uh, who have a tremendous poverty to begin with and inadequate nutrition then have a fatal disease which is spread by the smallest of insects. It is a disease that, that wipes out your bone marrow. You don't make white cells, don't make red cells don't make platelets, you, you die a horrible death. Some people compare it to HIV. The only therapy that existed is very toxic and often ineffective and costs hundreds of dollars. These families are left with the choice of borrowing money to go into debt for three generations or allowing that family member to die. I have been in communities and asked mothers and fathers, what diseases are you afraid of, particularly for your children? Is it malaria? Is it diarrhea? The answer is no. They universally say kalazar. What I realized was that there was an antibiotic named peromomycin that would cure kalazar. The problem was, that the pharmaceutical company had long ago stopped making the drug because of low sales. And so I decided that we should try to bring peromycin back to life. And I knew that if we could succeed, it would be an ideal business model for a nonprofit pharmaceutical company. Matching orphan diseases with orphan drugs, drugs that already exist, but that no one is developing or producing. What's beautiful about peromycin is it cures almost everyone who receives it. It is extremely safe. We've known that for 50 years. And it is very inexpensive. It is cheap. It is one-tenth the cost of any other medicine available for Kalazar. In fact, it's so cheap that if we could prove that it worked, the Indian government was willing to distribute it for free. So the World Health Organization, WHO, and One World Health went together to Bihar State, to the capital, Patna, and to the biggest hospital in Patna. The trial that we performed at, at this hospital was exciting and a little bit scary for all of us. I watched patients and saw their excitement and at the same time their uncertainty as to whether this investigational drug would be effective and would cure them of this disease. And the patients who received our drug were sitting up in conversation 
um, awake, aware, hungry, which is rare in this disease, appetite coming back, asking for more and more food, gaining their strength. I was elated. It was a tremendous high. We had one chance to get it right, one chance with the government of India to show that we could figure out how to make a new drug for a disease that the whole world had forgotten. And this was going to be that drug. Peromomycin is my child. I've been giving birth to Peromomycin now for four years. And the labor is almost over. We expect to have Peromomycin approved by the government of India uh, this year. Now our goal is to match other orphan drugs with the many other orphan diseases that afflict hundreds of millions of people around the world. We can't do this by ourselves. We need partners, we need pharmaceutical companies, we need governments, and we need people to distribute the products that we make. We need physicians who know how to treat patients. There are a lot of us who have to come together, but sometimes the first spark is the hope of a new medicine.